it is time to officially recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. A big announcement from President Trump today. The president also announcing plans to relocate the U.S. Embassy there. Uh, that move is expected to inflame tensions in the region and unsettle the prospect for peace. In calls with the president today, regional Arab leaders and France's president expressed deep misgivings about the move and urged him to reconsider. President Trump says the U.S. is not taking sides and is still committed to facilitating a lasting peace agreement. If those headlines have caught the attention of hundreds of Hoosiers and dozens of groups here in central Indiana who say they are dedicated to ending oppression in Israel and that this does not help. Or Brennan Donnelly met some in person today. Brennan, what did you find? Well, Phil, I communicated with more than a dozen groups today, but in particular, I met two people, one Jewish woman and one Muslim woman, who are united in their concern by this latest move by our president. Jerusalem is a holy place and a place of hope for so many different people and different religions from around the world. The Muslim faith, the Christian faith, and the Jewish faith, we all have very significant ties to that city. On a day when millions are separated into us and them, two women, leaders of religious groups in Indianapolis, are united. Do your own research and not necessarily... Aliyah Amin is Muslim and leads an alliance that highlights Islam in a post-9-11 world. We go out and serve our community just like everyone else. We have kids that are in school just like everyone else. Really just put our foot down and say. Malka Bird is Jewish and believes in her religion, but not always politics. Netanyahu and Israelis and some American Jewish groups don't speak for all Jewish people and that um, we really believe that um, we are not going to all be safe until everyone's safe and that includes Palestinians and Israelis. The two watch the announcement today and fear for their people and each other's people. I mean, this is pretty devastating to hear today. This decision does not really promote peace. This is a move that does not bring about peace. This is not working towards a solution. It may be a setback to any future peace talks. Now they say it's the job of every Hoosier to not become divisive. Reach out to, um, you know, your Muslim or Jewish or Christian neighbor and just say, you know, we are more than this. Our relationship is not defined on this announcement. Both Bird and Amin's organizations issued formal statements. You can read those along with several others from the area organizations right now on wishtv.com. Brenna Donnelly, 24-Hour News 8.